Sharing a content look with Esmeralda, the hunchback presses their palms together with both of his. Quasimodo leaves the couple. Esmeralda and Phoebus gaze at each other, then kiss. Quasimodo happily watches. Now, Phoebus and Esmeralda exit the cathedral in the morning. A large crowd cheers. Holding hands with Esmeralda, Phoebus raises his fists. Meeting Phoebus's eyes, Esmeralda returns to the cathedral doors. She offers a hand. Quasimodo reluctantly takes it. As she leads him out, he blocks his eyes from the sunlight. He walks out with Esmeralda. Quasimodo eyes the crowd, open-mouthed. The stunned peasants look at him. A young blonde girl looks from the disfigured man to her mother, then approaches the steps. She walks up to the hunchback. The girl considers him with a stare, then touches his face. Taken aback, Quasimodo gapes at her. His expression softens and he closes his eyes, touching the girl's hand. She strokes his hair. Smiling, the girl takes Quasimodo's hand and leads him down the steps. Clopin hangs from a pole. For oh, Quasimodo! Two men carry Quasimodo. Victor sobs as Hugo uncorks a bottle and sprays Laverne. On the steps, Jolly leaps into Esmeralda's arms and licks Phoebus's face. The couple happily gazes out. carry Quasimodo through the square, followed by the joyful crowd. Our view rises past a cathedral ledge. The gargoyles watch the crowd. Birds land on Laverne, who waves them off. Don't you ever migrate! Our view continues to rise above the massive cathedral, moving through the clouds. Over an aerial view of Notre Dame and the surrounding city, words appear. The end. Cut to black.